but I don't know what map it's going to be on. Hmm. We will find out. It will be Eye of Horus or Into Battle. And... Hmm. I have heard is lots of metal. And into battle, it's it's an interesting map. Into battle is one of those maps that has very little easy. metal, but tends to take forever. Yeah, but I don't know. It's interesting. It's just structured so weird. It is. You cannot expect whether you start in the safe place or this close to the enemy or I mean best of one I wouldn't be surprised if someone did start close and it is indeed into battle that is exactly what we're playing on so into battle like you said that is a weird match that uh, a weird map that is weird things do we have a room we don't have a room I don't think so I mean, it's a bit odd now, because we only need the one room. But I think we're going to still use the tournament interface, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Don't hmm. ask me. Oh, here we have semi. There is a room. There is a room. Okay, cool. So with that, we've basically just... Oh, man. We have possibly three more matches, possibly four more matches left before the tournament is over. We will see. Yeah, this is going... Um, like, you know, uh, even though the players are tired by now, this is a battle of chance. Well, what if they both go for that risky expansion? Or risky start point? Like cheese it's versus really cheese. <laughs> Things have happened. Like uh, I think in one of the tournaments where it was Sprang and I versus Anarchy and Clone, they were making uh, a warrior drop or scalp drop, and we were making Blastwing Rush. Oh, and and basically cheese versus cheese. It's it's some cheese counters other cheese. It works in the end. <laughs> well, at any rate, that is going to be up. I mean, everyone's ready. I don't know why people are... Not I've started. barely seen Wesley Cheese or Felfast for that matter, so I think they're both going to play straight. I agree. Really? They're, yeah. they're strong players that know what they're doing economically. We saw it before, like, Wesley is really good at macro play. So yeah. it's oh. this map though, like I said, it doesn't support macro play especially well. It kind of does, but not that well. True, it's it's very much about raiding, I think, because again, it's just I think all maps today were quite characterized by having so many different avenues to go from place to place, and not many bottlenecked maps. Well, those aren't very fun maps to begin with. I can't say I'm surprised. I think most of the... It's true, it's true, it's true. I think most of the most of the maps in the quick match nowadays are also the same way. Yeah, but it's also, there wasn't any relatively small map, let's say. Um, That's true. big maps. I mean, Baron is on the list. We could potentially see that for the second round of the Grand Finals. Mm-hmm. Okay. But that's so about it. Mm -hmm. So, um, Cloakies versus Cloakies, or will we see Rovers? I think shield. Well, yeah, Rovers or Shields. Fair enough. <sighs> wow, Wes must be tired. Like, this is. Well, actually, roughly the same time zone as you, actually, would be about yeah. midnight. I'm midnight 140. 
Yeah. yeah that, yeah. I think he's one behind you. I think, he, I think he's 1240. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> but it's okay. I can power through a few more games and... Then That's the spirit. All... Yeah, definitely. So, what are we waiting for? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, what are you... <laughs> There we go! Okay! They must have figured that Aquanim would be starting the whole thing for them. It's like, I mean, they can, but they're not going to. It's a classic bystander effect. I mean, it's certainly a harmless -ish instance of the bystander effect, I'll grant that. Right, right, right. No, no one died and no one did big help, but it's just about when there is no single, you know, uh, person responsible for something right then it's very easy to just not think about it too much until finally it turns out that you needed to be thinking about it because you were in charge but anyway game is starting and felt of going for cloakies can't say i'm surprised, surprised. though i'm yeah, curious what cool. wes is going to go for and felt us also going, going for, for the regular spots yeah, fail toss in the darkest spot. And Wes, what the? the... <laughs> That's not even the cheese spot. The cheese spot's up here. The cheese spot's up in the northwest. They're they're going for the cheese pot's cheese spot. <laughs> like what the? They just proxying into fail toss's base, or are they just going in straight with the commander? Is that the plan? Just upgrade the commander and walk it? No, tank factory, right up front. It's going to make a banish. It's going to make an ogre. Like I think. Yep. You're yes. a bang on. And you know why? Because like four days ago, I did it exactly to Wesley Boss and I won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. That's why I got you on the co-caster spot. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. This yeah, that is... Be funny. Oh, man, this is going to be... Yeah. And, no, <laughs> My regret yeah, for choosing into battle is amplifying rapidly. I like that acronym. This is going to be fun. Yeah. It's kind of funny because that's like 520 metal. So you have the factor for free, 500 metal, which is roughly, a, you start with 400 stored and you get 4.3 income. And so in the time it takes, the 50 seconds it takes, you're going to build up another 200 metal just off the commander income. So you can pay for it. I, that is clever. And the nice thing is that the enemy spent so much on the economy and I don't know what. So they aren't even equipped. To, yeah. to deal with, with an ogre. Although Fieldhouse is doing the right thing. They're going for a Ronin, but the problem, of course, is that they're not going to be able to last. Like, the no, Ronin can't no, live. No. The only thing I'm not sure about, though, is that Wesley is taking a fair amount of damage from their commander. If, if either the commander or the ogre is down, it's over. Though the Cloaky Factory is almost done, so if that goes down, then Fieldhouse has very little to work with, but the commander... Jump, jump, oh, jump, the Cloaky Factory is not going to work! Jump. No! Oh, that is so heartbreaking! That is... That's it. That's it. Field Boss can oh, easily thanks. rebuild from this, and Wes has nothing. They're done. They have no economy. Oh, they that commander. Ah, no oh, that's why it's the recon smooth. commander. You said jump. Oh no. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that was the that was the losers finals. Congratulations, Field Boss. <laughs> you are rematching Siguero again for the grand final spot. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, entertaining match. I'm I'm fine with that. That was that was short but sweet and a really interesting demonstration of a strategy that clearly you had a bit more practice with, but hey, it's something. Yeah. I I'm glad that we saw a little bit of cheese at least. <laughs> My recommendation is go for lightning gun. Uh, I learned yeah. it from Segera. Lightning gun will and stop it's... everything coming in. Well, lightning gun's the way to go, isn't it? Like that's the thing that everyone yeah, goes it's... for these days. It's less DPS, but it's just, as you said, stopping power. It buys you time. It gives you time. And I wouldn't, like, go just straight on. Make a Lotus. Why do you need to attack the the factory with your units if you can just make a small Lotus? 
it will Bloodus has a lot of DPS. Yeah, that's the thing. I just I don't understand. But that is finals. And <laughs> I'd like to see that strategy actually work though. Like that would be kind of fun to see. Someone actually managed to pull it out. But like 